It's TMNT time! Hello and welcome to another video review. Today we're going to have a look at the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Rat King and Vernon. The two pack I've been waiting for, mostly because of Rat King and Vernon is alright, I guess. But, well, Vernon is really one of the ex essential characters for the cartoon line, but like, Rat King? Rat King was a cool villain. Showed up every now and then. Like, the main thing I got about this two pack, I was super surprised that they're pairing up Rat King and Vernon. But then I saw what the Vernon accessories bring to the table, and I was like, oh, spoilers, he turns into a rat. <gasps> but yeah, let's have a look at it. These guys do have some size. Honestly, I don't remember Vern to be this big, but alas. Rat King stands at about 17 centimeters to the top of his head, which means we would go up to a little shy of 7 inches tall. We are 6.8, 6.9. And for Fern, that means he goes up to 16 centimeters to the top of his head. And that goes up to 6.2, almost 3 inches tall. For your size comparisons, I have... Here's Jolter, the Bandai Salamander's intercessor. We also have a NECA turtle, an SH Figuarts turtle, and a Super 7 turtle. And Darkseid. Okay, can I just gush real quick as to how good this Rat King looks? Oh my god, come to me. Like, that's why I have the arms like this. I want to embrace him. Mwah. No, but seriously, this figure looks and feels amazing. The head sculpt is absolutely cartoon accurate. He has that brash, arrogant, cocky smile on it. Lines for his eyebrows are clean and the black eyes with a little bit more of a spiky hair sculpt, it looks almost a little bit like a Saiyan, but in all orange. But I want to get to the good stuff, and that's all the stitches in his outfit. All of that, every single bit has been molded and painted on, and that's the stuff that I really, really appreciate. Same for all the cartoon lines, he has a two-tone in the body, the lighter brown in the front, and the dark brown in the back. Seems to be a little bit shiny looking at some parts. I don't know what's up with that, but that's not even an issue. Also the muscle work, he's big. He has a big upper body. Damn, would we'll have been working out with them rats. And I really like this, like you turn it around and it goes like from the dark to the light. Also has a nice effect to it. Got them big grappling hands on there. His outfit kind of ends on these lines. And the lines overall are clean on this one. No issues with the paint. No dropsies, no problems, no bleeding. Well, for the most part, there might be some small, small lines over there like that. It's not entirely clean, it's not entirely straight, but who cares? It's really not a big deal because everything that went into this figure looks good for the most part, and at the price point, I do not really care if just this one, like these two lines are not completely lined up, and maybe the one in the, in the, in the lower part, but again, it's even not that Bad. He has the feet taped up, and yes, this guy looks beautiful. Then it is Vern. Vern sucks. No, I'm just kidding. Vern's actually great. The toy, that is, not the character. The character sucks, but that was intentional. Comedy relief and stuff, right? Big loser with a big nose. But honestly, the figure actually looks amazing. Look at his face comb. Look at how good this looks. Really copy pasted out of the show has the lines around the face, also has the arrogant smirk laugh on his face and the big nose with the dark eyes and the hair sculpt has some detail in it, the paint doesn't line up 100% but again it's small issues that don't really stand out as much only if we're going closely into which is my job as a figure reviewer to show you the close detail of it otherwise what the hell am I doing here and you have his pink shirt with the tie on there, is soft plastic, it is connected in the chest area and in the back, same thing, you got the two-tone this one, you don't really notice it that much because the darker tone isn't really that dark but then I guess, I give, well, if you're going with pink into two darker tones, it just looks weird so I kind of understand them doing that and then you have the cartoon lines also on the suspenders same thing, it looks good for the most part, it does have some some pieces here and there where it's not lining up 100% and a little pouch on the side. And he does wear a watch. Who wears a wrist wristwatch? Well, I guess people still do that, but this was the 90s, guys. I'm just trying to spin this around, there you go. 
Is the watch actually connected? Let's find out. Yes, actually, there you go. Can't take the watch off if you don't like that. I just wanted to know that. Down to his white sneakers. With the white bottles in there, which uh, cover up very nicely. So, good stuff overall, Vern. What about the articulation, though? It's good. Um, the boy Rat King doesn't have any neck articulation, but the head itself goes to the back, goes forward, does tilt side to side very nicely, and it does go all the way around without a hitch. Got a big ball hinge in the shoulder, moves up and down, and rotates all the way around, but you also have bicep swivel, basically doing the same thing, the double hinged elbow joint, and another hinge in the hand, so it does move up and down all the way around. Chest area is also very nimble, can bring that back and forth, does tilt side to side and does go all the way around. Now from what I can tell the hip does not move around unless this is frozen, but I cannot see anything under these bandages, which is weird. You could have just made something under the bandages, but this is all close to the figure, so I don't think there's anything under it. Because so I also there's the paint, maybe the paint's blocking it, but I cannot Cannot get anything. If this is if there's something under there and it's frozen, let me know about it. Mine just doesn't want a bunch. Leg moves forward. You have the soft crotch piece, so it does move out of the way without any trouble. Goes out to the back and to the side, and you have a swivel on it. Well, not really swivel, but it does swivel around because it's on a ball joint. Got them double hinged knees, which one hinge is a little bit frozen, I guess. There you go. And the foot is on the ball hinge where the paint is already rubbing off, but that's just NECA standard. They paint that joint, so obviously that will not stay on there if you move it around, but still, the movement of it is very good. Kind of a pivot and no toe hinge, but then again, toe hinges I feel are useless. What does your boy Vern do though? He does have neck articulation, there's that, and then the head moves forward, moves to the back, and it does tilt side to side, also swivels all the way around. Got another hinge in the shoulder, goes up and down all the way around. Well, actually, it would go all the way around, but I guess this is frozen. Now, there we go, give it a little bit of a tuck. Please don't break off, okay, that works. Got the double hinges in the elbow, can bring those all the way up. Also, swivels at both parts, the front part and the back part. You have another swivel at the forearm over here and also this part rotates around so you can line it up. A hinge in the hand goes up and down and swivel. And it has lots of swivels, speaking of which you have one in the lower hip part but does he have anything in the torso? Now his shirt is soft plastic but even if there is something the shirt does not really allow it to move around so I don't think there's anything we can count. The leg moves forward, moves out to the side, and moves to the back. He also is a little bit wobbly, but it also does rotate around. Got another case of the double hinged, but also stiff knees. I did heat this guy up, but still, there you go. And the foot moves forward, moves to the back, and does pivot to the side in an angle. For your accessories, you got some really cool stuff for the Rat King. You got two more holding hands. One's a little bit bigger than the other one. If my camera would focus, but then again, it's just gripping hands. Nothing too special about it. Then you got a pointy finger, which points. You have a flute. He is the Rat King. He controls his rats with a flute, of course. What else? Can canister of mutagen, just the regular cartoon one in the gray. And then he has a belt which is just Rory. Well, I think that goes over his shoulder, because it's pretty big, and he has some cans for that. I don't remember what they were doing, what they were good for, but they're there, can put it in the belt, rolls off my table. You got a camera for Vern, actually very detailed camera. I love the Channel 6 logo on there, and screen in the back, damn. This really takes me back, it's an old school shoulder cam, really looks great, I'm a big, big fan of this one. Obviously you gotta have some rats, for the Rat King you have one in different poses a little bit, kinda hunched over, maybe goes on the shoulder. They are not articulated, also the tails don't really move or whatever, but I mean it's fine, it's just an accessory, it looks good, paint is on it, it is clean. And then finally, you got a rat accessory, a rat accessory for Vern. You can turn Vern into a mutant rat, isn't that lovely? 
this one is really, really knocking out of the park for me, honestly, perfectly. I was like, at first, I was like, why did you put the Rat King and Vern together? And then I saw the accessories, and I was like, oh, that's why. Good! Smart, NECA. Very smart. Open hands, and also a pointy finger for regular Vern. Alright, so this two-pack is amazing. I don't have a single thing to complain about. The Rat King, I gushed over it, how good the figure itself looks like. And even like the little rats, due to the tail, it can kind of wrap it around the shoulders and even holds on to it. So that's really cool. Really dig it. Really dig the look, the articulation and whatnot of the Rat King already. Like, mwah, perfect. And Vern? Well, I don't really care that much about the character itself, but it's a necessary character if you want to complete the line. So I'm thankful for that. But I feel like they really, really went above and beyond when it comes to Vern. Giving him the big shoulder camera he always used to carry around. And even like the rat transformation is something I didn't even think of. That's like, again, kudos to that. Big, big fan overall of it. Also, you can move the handle around where the camera's on it. That is on a swivel, that piece. And yeah, I just, anything else? No, I love this. I love this set. Go out and get it. It's one of the best ones. No complaints. Just no complaints. That's gonna do it, guys. As usual, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this review, hit that over like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay tuned for our figure reviews, card game stuff, and whatever the Rat King and Vern wants. Again, no complaints.